Hello, I'm Spastastic. Welcome to Spastastic TV. Today we're going to be looking at, you know, by the way, if you're actually wondering why I've been kind of, you know, doing a lot of videos in the studio with a lot of crap that I bought at Walmart, it's because uh, that seems to be the bread and butter for me on my channel about this time of year. So today we're going to be looking at this uh, Ozark Trail six-piece combo set, kind of similar to what I uh, looked at last year when I looked at three different, uh, I think, four-piece sets or whatnot. I don't know, card up in the top of the screen, people on BitChute. That's why there's a formatting error, because I primarily do these videos for YouTube. Um, oh yeah, I also have a bit shoot by the way. But yeah, it was a six piece combo set that costs about $15. Uh, it comes with an assortment of things. So uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, get it out of its packaging and uh, go ahead and take a look. So uh, jump cut. And also, let's say I, 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 I was going to do a jump cut going to the TV dinner tray, but I figured, you know, I might as well just do these standing up, even though I have the camera kind of aimed a little too high. The first thing I'm going to look at is this little just cheapo flashlight. Comes with the three batteries. Biggest thing I'm wondering about this is do the batteries actually have a charge out of the packaging because i've noticed that this is starting to become a worse and worse problem when they put in their weird union max batteries there's whatever the fuck brand those are um in them because it really gets on my nerves when i buy things that have uh things that need batteries in them and you go to go use them and the batteries are dead when you go to try to use whatever you have but oh no it's just your typical little nine light freaking led flashlight you know they're always nice to have around, throw them in your glove box, freaking uh, leave them sitting on your shelf, leave them sitting on your shelf, or uh, by your nightstand in case the power goes out. That's always nice. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the next item, which fucking everybody's seen these. I didn't see these things, so uh, do a little bit of a jump. That was a little harder to get out than I thought it was gonna be. This little uh, card knife thing, which is actually really thick and really heavy. I mean, m most of them are pretty thick, but this one's surprisingly heavy for what it is. And I'm willing to bet that it's not stainless to save its ass. And I'm really am not going to show too much about this other than uh, the saw blade on it looks like it's halfway decent, if you can see it. If it's not all fuzzy because the camera refuses to go into fucking macro mode. It comes with a little bit of a instruction set. If i got to show another one of these goddamn things, um, I'm probably going to torch my nipples off. You know how it goes. It comes with this little shitty-ass little leather pouch. So that's a thing, you know. Not really too keen on that kind of stuff. And you get a little another key, little key knife. Yeah, I know the heater turned on in the background. If you actually have good audio, you can hear it. And most of these key knives are crap. They usually have plastic handles on them. But this is actually an exception. The knife on it isn't sharp worth a shit, but it's got a decent weight to it. And it, the blade really doesn't have a lot of flex in the thing. So I'm going to give them props on that. That's actually really not that bad. It's got a decent weight to it. I might actually have to put that on my key ring. Other than I don't like how it doesn't fold down all the way flat. That's kind of defeats the purpose of a key ring knife. But I guess when you actually make a quality one, it doesn't really matter. Then the bread and butter of any of these things. This actually weighs less than the key knife because it's, well, it's got a plastic handle on it. Uh, it's got a decent pocket clip on it. Um, is it sharp? It's somewhat sharp. How much play has the blade got in it? Um, well, that's a problem. Normally when you have these knives, usually when you have them, usually the little uh, locker thing isn't longer than the knife blade. Go into macro mode to show that. So this knife has no lock in it and doesn't want to close because it's the wrong size. What in the fuck? But it does open fast. I guess it's spring assisted. Oh, now the lock works. What the fuck? Somebody explain that to me down in the comment section because I know there's some people that know a lot more about knives than I do. But now I guess it's just hard to close because it's spring assisted. That's kind of satisfying actually. I guess now that the lock actually works, I guess it's not a piece of crap. Let's go ahead and stick that on my pocket right now. Last thing, last thing, I know, I'm just kind of ducking and diving, is this multi tool. This multi-tool actually has a little special feature on it that most multi-tool manufacturers don't think don't seem to ever think of, is a pocket clip. I won't buy a multi-tool without a pocket clip. It's one of the biggest things that I actually see when I see this little set, and because I hate these things, because I don't wear a belt, so yeah. I mean that that feels like it's about to cut your hand, but you know what what what, what multi-tool doesn't? Does it fold together and close pretty nicely? Yeah, kind of wish it closed squarely. Be kind of nice. Let's see what sort of attachments this multi-tool has in it. Pull out the knife first. Pretty decent knife. It's not. It's less sharp than the rest of them. You get your Phillips screwdriver. Hopefully you can see it. You have your uh, wannabe can opener thing. 
that has a little blunt edge on it, letter opener, I guess. And then there's your actual can opener and bottle opener. Well, what are these like little tools supposed to be where it's kind of like a half thing? Is it supposed to be a letter opener? Please let me know down in the comment section. It's going to bug the crap out of me. I mean, other than it's got a pretty thin little cheesy little metal handle on it. It's got a file that feels like 3 day old moldy cancer. It's got a couple other little tools. I guess you could use one of those as a slotted screwdriver. And it's got a serrated edge that is uh, so dull that I can press a quite a bit of pressure on it and not even scratch myself. Whatever. Because um, I could go get a little freaking, one of those little special like, little sharpening tools and go in there and go ham on it and boom, I got a serrated edge. Kind of wish it had a saw on it. That'd be kind of, that'd actually be pretty nice. But you know what? For 15 bucks for that whole kit, the key knife was nice. This These, these multi-tool pliers really aren't the greatest thing on the planet. But it's going to replace my Leatherman that a hockey game consumed because I fucking forgot to leave it in my goddamn car and so it ended up in the garbage because, you know, throwing a $60 Leatherman in the garbage is always you know, a pleasant thing. But that's the six-piece uh, Walmart Ozark Trail freaking uh, gift set, which I'd, rec I, which I'd be happy if somebody gave it to me as a gift. So hopefully my friends and family actually, you know, watch these videos and decide to uh, not buy me one because... Uh, I don't think they do. But anyhow, I'm spastastic. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, maybe the standing up little part. Maybe if you'd like the Tweet TV dinner tray. Maybe if you want to tell me to shut the fuck up and get back out and do more camera reviews and gun reviews to get outside instead of standing in front of my new backdrop or whatever the fuck. Go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. Um, this video is also going to be uploaded on BitChute. You can follow me on Twitter at SpastasticTV. Um, you hit the like and subscribe button if you feel like doing that. Or a don't. It's a, it's a free world. But anyhow, I'm Spastastic. Thanks for watching. I'll have some music to play out.